Hi, I'm Padmini. I'm an engineering manager on the carrier experience team. So I'll go over what we're working on. As a reminder, Uber Freight and carrier experience is all about drivers. We feel that by solving their biggest pain points, we'll make the entire industry more efficient and better. So how do we decide what to build? Um, we focus on three main areas. So there's growth, engagement and experience, and efficiency. So with growth, the main question we're trying to answer is how can we onboard more freight drivers? Our marketing, ops, and sales teams have been working really hard to put out amazing ads. We're at every trucking show, Great American Trucking Show, California Trucking Show, getting the word out about Uber Freight. We've also built a few features on the tech side, like Sure, my load, I don't know if you can see it, but if a driver looks at a load, they feel like it's not for me, but I have a friend, I think it'd be great for them, they can share the load to them and they can download the app if they don't have it already. Then engagement and experience. How do we keep drivers, how do we keep freight carriers coming back to our app? So they're signed up and they're onboarded, but how do we get them to book their first load? And then their second load and third load and fourth load. How do we convince them that they should check our app every day and that it's worth it? This is where we really get to listen to drivers and incorporate their feedback and build features just for them. A couple of features I highlighted here were actually um, features that drivers asked for. So there's post my truck, which I'll talk about in a couple minutes. Um, there's a doc upload, which will allow them to upload their proof of delivery once they're finished with the trip. And we also feel like creating a personalized experience for drivers will help them feel that we care about them and the app was made for them. So that's the for you pack, which, is, um, which features load recommendations. Finally, efficiency. So what can we do to maximize overall efficiency in the Uber Freight ecosystem? When we first started uh, several months ago, we didn't have many drivers and we didn't have many loads. So efficiency wasn't a huge concern. You just open up the app, there's a few loads, the driver picks one and it's fine. Now we have many more loads and many more drivers. So finding the right loads for drivers and servicing them in an easy way has become an increasingly difficult challenge. So some features that, we've, that I've highlighted here that cover this are again, load recommendations, and then there are reloads, which I'll cover in detail. So here's one pain point. There are so many available loads, but I can't find any that match my preferences. So we have a search screen where drivers can enter filter fields and they can scroll through a long list of loads. But now we have a lot of loads. So we, need to, we want to try to surface the loads that work for a driver at the right time and just showcase them. So here, what you see on the right is our load recommendations feature or the for you load pack. Um, and you can access this through our booking load screen. So we have the filters and then we have the for you pack on the, on the far left. So you click on that and you get to this experience. So here you can see four reasons that we sort of, for why we would recommend a load. So there's get home, which is basically the take me home feature that you saw in the video earlier. We also call this back calls. So I'm a driver, I'm taking a load to Houston, Texas, and I want to get back home to Florida. This, this feature will surface those loads. There's also identical loads. So drivers like taking identical loads because it's between the same two points. It's cargo they're familiar with. They know they have the equipment. So identical loads was an obvious choice for a load recommendation reason. Then there's similar loads. Um, like I said before, it's, it's similar to identical loads, but the cargo is different. It still goes from the same points A to B that the driver is familiar with. And then there's a reload, which is similar to backhauls, except instead of taking them home, it will allow them to get loaded at the destination of a previous load and allow them to skip out on the deadhead and take a load immediately. Here's another problem, pain point. This load takes me all the way to Marfa, Texas. I don't wanna to have to drive back to California empty. So this covers the deadhead miles situation. Basically, a, if a driver drives to a location with no cargo, 
they're wasting time, and they're wasting money, potential money that they could be making. So then we introduce this feature, Upfront Reload. It gives the driver an option to look at reloads that are available before they even book the load. So let's say I'm trying to decide what load I should take. I have, um, I see this one from Houston to Portland. Um, I don't know if I want to take it, but hey, I see loads from Portland back to Houston or from Portland to San Antonio. So I know I won't be stuck in Portland without anything to carry back. And another pain point, I can't find loads that fit my schedule. Like Ian mentioned earlier, drivers need to plan ahead. This is because their jobs could take from hours to days, and they need to get to the location, the pickup or drop off location within a scheduled time. If they miss it, then they're in trouble. And shippers are in trouble, brokers are in trouble, we're in trouble. So basically, what we did was build this feature so that we know when drivers are available to take a load. So this is post my truck. Basically, we have the schedule. Um, we show them the loads that they currently have, and we give them an option to let us know when they'll be free. And then when there's a load that's available that fits their criteria, we'll let them know. So this is sort of how it all fits together, um, all the features I mentioned. Drivers carry the iOS and Android apps with them. They open the app and then they book a load. Our backend service is aware of what drivers the loads have picked before, what their schedule is, what they're currently working on, what their location is, and through the post my truck feature, when they're available. All of these serve as inputs to our truck recommendation engine. And what this does is generate recommendations such as reloads or you know, identical lanes or preferred lanes, and then surface them through upfront reloads and the load recommendations or for you pack that I showed earlier. Then these recommendations go back to our back end service and are surfaced in the app. So all of this, including the, uh, the trip flow that Guillaume went over, we built this year. Um, and there's a lot more to come in 2018. So come work with us. <laughs>